Hello and welcome to my new tutorial which is designed to give you an introduction to HTML. Even if you're not planning to code web pages from scratch, it's important to understand the basics of HTML just so that you can do little tweaks and things like that even in programs like Dreamweaver. Sometimes you will find that you need to switch into code view. So it's a very good idea to get to grips with the basics. So today that's what we're going to do. We're going to start by having a quick discussion about HTML itself. Then we're going to create the first page of a very simple website. And then you're going to create the other pages, the other two pages of the website. So, HTML, an overview. HTML uses something called tags. Tags describe the different parts of an HTML document. It tells the browser what something is. It's like a description. Okay, so when you have tags, you always have an opening and closing tag. So this is the opening title tag this is the closing title tag. Closing tags always have a forward slash. Okay, so in the middle of the title tags, the opening and closing title tags, you'll have the page title. This is the thing that appears at the top of the browser. So these tags describe to the browser that what's inside them is the title of the web page. The content that's inside tags is known as an element. Right, let's dive in and get started creating the first page. OK, you need to start by downloading the HTML website zip file, which can be downloaded by clicking on the link in the description below. This contains the files we need for this tutorial. Once you've done this, I suggest you download an advanced text editor. Now you could just use something like Notepad if you're on Windows or Text Edit if you're on the Mac, but the more advanced text editors have several advantages. For example, it allows you to easily flip between several documents at the same time using tabs. Also, it highlights different parts of the code in different colors to make it easier to work with. Now, if you're on the Mac, I recommend Text Wrangler, okay? And the link is below, but this is the website here, and you can download that for free. If you're on the PC, I recommend NoteTab, the light free version is fine, okay? So if you get one of those downloaded and installed, and then we can continue with the tutorial. OK, so I'm going to open Text Wrangler and I'm going to open the initial code text document from the HTML website folder. Now, this initial code is pretty much the most basic code you should use for an HTML page, what you should start with. At the top you've got some information about the type and version of code that's being used. It's some information for the browser. Okay. Now this can just be used as a template for any page. We've got some standard tags which will always be used. Here we've got the title tag and at the moment we've got untitled document in between the opening and closing title tags. We're going to start by changing this we're going to make um, a website for a garden maintenance, garden maintenance company, a very basic website to quick put together. So I'm going to call this Green Fingers, which is the name of the company. So that is the title. Now, if I go File, Save As, and make sure we're still in the HTML website folder and I'm going to call this index.html 
the first page of every website should be index.html. If I save that, go to the folder, there's the file I've just saved. Okay, so we've used the initial code as the template. I've just changed the title and I've saved it as index.html. So now this is basic a basic web page. If I double click to open it, you see there's absolutely no content in it, but it does have a title, the title we've just given it. Now let's go back to Text Wrangler and we need to paste in some content. So let's open the home text document. I'm going to copy and paste this. Now this goes between the body tags. Everything that goes inside the body tags is basically the visible part of the web page, what the content you actually see inside the browser. So I'm going to paste that text into that space. Now if I save and view this, let's see what happens. Now it's all contracted together, it's all a bit of a mess. So we're going to have to use some HTML formatting to sort this out. The first thing I want to do is get this into paragraphs. You can separate text in HTML into paragraphs using the paragraph tags. All it is is literally a P, okay, like this. So you just have an opening and closing tag. Put one around each section, 